right guys so in today's video we're going to be changing the oil on the miata and then hopefully take it to a first car show or its first car show in five six months something like that anyway um we're gonna get right into that uh hopefully it should be pretty quick and easy and hopefully the oil looks good well as good as it can for a first oil change on a fresh motor so anyway let's hop right into it and let's uh see how the oil looks Um, for some reason, my battery keeps dying. I don't know if it's my oxygener or not, um, but I got to throw it on the charge. It was uh, pretty bad while driving. Sometimes I idle and slowly die. Uh, I got to get the revs up, so I'm gonna throw it on the charge, uh, jack the car up, and drain the oil, and we'll see how it looks. But as for everything up front, everything looks really good. Pull the oil cap off, fresh. Everything is oiled, and that is a good thing. All right, in case you guys are wondering, I am going to be using the K&N filter and some Supertech conventional oil. Just in case you're wondering, I mean, it's simple stuff, cheap. That's what you're supposed to use when you're breaking a motor. Um, anyway, let's just get right into it. I've been uh, dragging this on long enough, so let's uh, take that oil out and see how it looks. Ooh, look at all the metallics in that. It's not even brown or black. There's a lot of metallics in that guy. That's crazy. First oil change. A new motor. All right, so there is the oil filter. As you can see, the oil is very grayish in color. I don't really know if you can see the metallics in it, but I don't know if I told you, but I did end up putting some zinc additive into it. I don't know if it's good or bad, bad for the rings. I don't know, we'll find out. Um, I didn't see anything or read anything that's bad. I know most break-in oils use a lot of zinc additive to protect the engine. Um, but as you can see in there, there is a ton of metallics, which is to be expected. Oh, oh, oh spilled onto my hand. Oh, what the? fuck just happened? Oh, fuck you. Oh, shit! Well, as you can see, that is all fuel right there. Um, my fuel line disconnected for some reason, and that's what uh, you saw spray out. Um, so that was very odd. I don't know why that would happen. Uh, I thought that hose clamp would be fine. So I got gas fucking everywhere. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're taking the wrap off anyway. But shit, that sucks. Supposed to go to a meet. I don't know if I want to anymore. Hmm. Ah. Well, at least I'm close to home, so SOS is on its way. Anyway, let's get this running again. We brought it back home, and it's fixed. So now let's head out to the car show, and um, hopefully all goes well.
less. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it where I started it. Car show went well, so it is the next day now. I know I look the same and all, but anyway, the fuel pump died. So, you know, it sucks, but I guess it's time to start pulling the Miata apart again. We'll have to change the fuel pump and then we're gonna start body work for the new wrap. If you guys are wondering why I'm wrapping it again, we are going to be taking it to Stance Wars Seattle and hopefully enter it into the top 100 and see how that goes. Um, hopefully we get uh, accepted into it. That'd be pretty sick. Cause last year I only saw one Miata on the top floor. Um, so we'll see if we can get ours up there. If we can, that'd be great. Uh, it'd be really exciting. It'd be a first for me and uh, we'll see how it goes. So we got a lot of work to do, a lot of grinding and uh, a lot of tiring days and nights. So that'll be in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for that. And anyway, I'll catch you guys when we start undoing the wrap and start the body work.